Make sure that you guys have the proper headset or earbuds and especially um, if you have a very low headset or low quality, make sure that you guys have the uh, proper uh, headphone earbuds so that you can really hear and uh, be able to get the full volume for the EVPs when I catch them. Um, my headset that I use is a really good headset for capturing um, all of the EVPs that I do. So before you watch, make sure that you have proper headset or earbuds that actually um, have really good volume and you're able to listen at good quality. And enjoy guys! We are at Bethesda Church Cemetery. This is a historical uh, place. There's some stuff over there. Yeah. This place is uh, pretty big too. So. You want me to just turn and park right here? I don't know. I don't. Uh, you might order right up through there and see if there's a spot to uh, well, there's, park. There's not. There's just you just stop here. So we're gonna find a spot. And we're gonna walk around. We had an okay time walking and looking around at some of the older places. Try not to record nobody. Um, so we're gonna walk around and look at some of these places and see if we see any older headstones and of course see if we catch anything on our audio. I just thought it would be really cool to come to here to drive a little bit of ways. There are they burying anybody over there? Um, I don't know if they're still putting people in here or not but it is huge so we'll find us a place to park and then I'll get back to you. Let's talk about cemetery etiquette and what you need to know for your next visit. The rules are simple. Drive with care, respect the graves, be respectful of other mourners, clean up after yourself. In a nutshell, treat the graves as you would like your own to be treated and be respectful in kind of funerals going on. I'll probably just section numbers or some kind of put that one back there into the arch one. Yeah. I like the ones with the little flyer holders too. Mm -hmm. It's like those stones down there. It's got the edge to it. Because that one you can tell was done right here in parts too because the, the November 99 is deep. Oh, yeah. I kind of expected more. Uh, I'd say the older ones are probably down here. War veteran. You know, I figured types. the older ones are probably closer to the church, would be my feeling. Because it looks like maybe this. Look at this here, yeah, This probably expanded as, you know, as they got more, maybe. That, was, that one was amazing. Was it? 58. Wow. So his wife didn't die until 2008. Here's another. So you got this one right here. This is World War II, January 6, 1912. 
April 26, 1963. Look at this. This one's the Dr. Frederick Miller, 1915 to 71. So he was what, 56? Mm -hmm. Okay, they had a son in 51, died in 56, or five years old. 1918, she ain't dead yet. Wow. Could go in you. <laughs> but they've got another space here. Yeah, they got one more. Because of those M markers is their full, but they've got a full spot there. Hey, you just have a So it looks like there's a lot of World War II people in here. Archer Burns. You want to walk back in there? This one's got a path. Looks like they just didn't do it on downtown, but this one's got a. Yeah, that looks like an old stone there. Yeah, this one they've got, they might not have been able to afford a bigger stone, but there's their foot stone. Or no, that's a headstone. They're buried this way. They ain't nobody buried through there. There's an older one. One year old. Uh -huh. 1940 to 1941. Little... Nope, wasn't even a year old. About four months. Poor baby. Mm -hmm. What was the last name? Mary, Mary Neal. Mary Neal, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Basil Carson. Didn't see a Carson. Oh, there you see a big tree over there. It's huge. See, that's what I was saying. I wonder why they didn't do this on down to there. They just didn't put the sidewalk. But it's still that way. Yeah, it's still open to go that way. There's people down there, though. I don't want to... While we're here to see the people and who all served... U.S. Army, 1915. They're, they're on both sides of the stone. Oh, there's, wow. there's eight right here around this one Fraser family stone. They're all Frasers. So, so like, they all... That's what I'm saying. They, wow. They've got this concrete line here. So they're buried on both sides of the headstones. And this is the... Wow. You know, on both edges. So, so there's that. one, two... And then over here, there's a... Albert, Alberta, PFC, U.S. Army, Freeman, step over this way, yep, there was more. There's Samuel, one. and there was uh, another one with Frazier, Robert Frazier, World War II. Awesome family. Now I'm confused. Did they bury both of them together? I think so. I bet you they're in the same casket. I bet. Well, how is that possible? Because this one's 2003. And that well, they did one. make wide, there was some wide caskets where people, if they die together, they get buried together well, in one this casket. This been born or been buried since 83 or 81. This one wasn't buried until 2003. Mm -hmm. 
died in 2003. I guess it's the kid that that one, but died in 2003. That's very confusing. That grave's confusing. <laughs> well, there for a minute, I thought maybe they were twins, and uh, but I guess not. Yeah, that grave's very confusing. Two different headstones, different years, but to get a World War One. Oh wow! That's cool. <clears throat> Mesby. I spent three summers in a row filling graves. Because they would root down worse than me. Why do they have a brick tied to a grave now? That's something I got to know. To hold the, uh, where the the, they use that as a oh, because I was like, why? They're for well from over here. I was like, I've got to understand this brick thing. <laughs> I guess I guess that's a good idea to hold the flowers on, but I was like, what is going on? Does it look like it was levitating? Earl Lee Stroud from October 24th, 1939 to 2006. And there's another. Served in Germany. That's cool. As well. Babe. Babe. Baby. Donald Edward. Poor baby. Now this is pretty wild here. They were in World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. Oh wow. That's a uh, military for life. The one right behind you died last year. At 92. Yeah, it's all fresh too. Yeah. William Carl Green. I gotta that get me a picture wild. of that. World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. Uh, this one right here has got Force. U.S. Air Force on it. So that one's. Veteran of World War II, Korean, and Vietnam. Gosh, that's a lot. Military lifer. There's another Vietnam. 
This name on them, they're all the same stones. Right here's a 1902, 1922, 1926, 1979. What do you got? 1899, 1961, 1944, and 1970. The whole thing might be good, they never can't afford to hay stuff. You know? Yeah, that's true. There's the earliest one, that's, so that was the first one. Mary Eva Karma. And this, this one here, they have wood stone and family stone. I ain't never been to this There's another like this. army. It's buried on both sides of the stone like that. World War One. There's some Mason gears. I don't know if that's any of these Mason. Myrtle K. Massengale and Reese B. Massengale. <laughs> there she's cool with that stone. Yeah, look at that. Early 1900s. All these. Whoa. 1848. Oh, okay, those say Kirkham. This goes into a different one. These are Dodson. Oh. 1905, 1902. In this area, but that one. Kirkham. It's got it on the side there. Nancy A. Thomas L. Well, here's the Nancy and Thomas. They're over here. 1901. Yep. Two months apart. August 22nd, 1838. He died in October. He died in December. Same year. Both of them were in their. Uh, she was 70-ish, or about 70, and he's 10 years older. Died two months later. Well, here you go. This says Crosby's. All these right here are Crosby's. And there's a big main stone over there and one here. That's cool, like though. they got this whole area. See, that's what I was saying is they, they bought the, you know, they bought the chunk. Yeah, they bought the part of the land. Yeah. And that's theirs. Here comes that white car again. This was the main original part of it. No, that's a different vehicle entirely. See, we were just getting into older ones right here. Now we're going to get into more only ones because this is the older Yeah, region. so the one side, you guys, is probably mixes of new and old. And then it seems like all the older ones is over to the one side. So. Yeah, that's the old gate. Now here's an old path. Yeah, yeah this gate well, have is pretty concrete. cool. And they had a huge the one on the other side. This one for their family plot, they put a mm -hmm. wall around it. And it says, and they're empty. Yeah. That means the, the woman probably died in childbirth, so they buried the infant with Ooh. Never had a name. That's probably on the opposite side of that one. Well, now I was looking.
at the birds and I'm not even yeah. like joking but there's a little girl by that tinier stone that's over there across from the pink flowers right there seen her nobody's over there <laughs> y'all hear me doing joey moments that's what's up it's like <laughs> there was birds over there though uh, so it'd be cool if I caught that or caught her on there because I had my camera pointed over there. We gotta go over that way where I seen the little girl. <laughs> Walter B. Worthington. What a cool name. Walter B. Worthington. Yeah, cause it's getting tight through this, around this little thing. And remember you guys that are watching to keep your eyes peeled too. I just noticed that big tall monument in the middle. You just noticed it? Wow. I mean, there's no See, I'd like to find something like that right there to put at the house. Stump? Yeah, a stump. Because I think they're cool. <laughs> yeah. But there's going to be a bunch of them. <laughs> Minnie. Minnie Reed Williams. There's all kinds of reeds. Look at that. You see, these are individual headstones instead of having big family headstones with footers. They're all reed. A reed as well. Reed, reed, father reed. And mother. This is father and mother, and I'll bet that's the kids. How about those? And there, here's some more. Wow. Oh, I bet they're buried on both sides. Sebastian. You know, I bet they've got the writing on one side for one and one side for the other down through here. Stephen. And they got their initials down here. Sebastian, John, Stephen, and Thomas Brody. And there's another one. Willie Oscar. Did you see that? What was that? I was that thing. That was big. It was that stone when we get over there. Yeah. It's got a picture on it too. Sankade. <clears throat> oh, wow. Even Earl and liked old cars. Old Grant. another World War One, 1891-1956. I'm not entirely sure, but I think the military pays for these stones. Yeah. That's my foot you're stepping on. <laughs> to the back side of that footer, I guess. There's another... He's a marine. Cool. Yep. Well, there's actually two people. But... Uh, which way is it there? Yeah. The other one. Yeah, we go where mommy's at. Well, what, what's this? How? Uh, another spot. Right here. Where's, he, where's his start at? Wilson. I'd say it's this way. Right here. 
So, so we you need can to see where the dip is. Yeah, right okay. Guys, I'm not a person to step in on people. It's graves. I just don't want to walk on you. Okay. I don't know if any of you other people that are watching are uh, like me, but I find it very disrespectful to walk over some over top somebody's grave. It depends on what you're doing. <laughs> if you're mowing a cemetery, you don't much have a choice. The mowing person's the only person that should do anything, but then again, they could take a weed eater and weed eat the grave and not step on it. You know how long that would take? Yeah. Check that out. They did a wide edge. The font, and it's the same font up there. Excuse me. We need to cut that way somehow. <laughs> Behind this stone, looks like it's facing the way. Yeah, I think so. I think, yeah, yeah, we're good. <clears throat> well, that ain't got nothing road on it. Hold on just a minute. I'll come back that way. This one. Davis. Don't see any others. Let's go back that way. It's kind of, kind of tied over there. <clears throat> right here. Korea. That is 1932, you guys. Ray and Wolf. That one looks old. Yeah, 1912. Yeah. Especially these over here that have wrought iron on them. It's like a family cemetery within a cemetery. That one did. I don't know if you can't see it. It's hard to tell what way they got these days. Where did I see that stone at with the birds? I think. I think it might have been that one over there. I think it might. Look, these are buried in a square. They're turned all four directions. Like, all the way around. That is wild. Like, they got a row of them here, row of them down the end, row of them all the way around. Either that or they just put the foot stones over here, but they're all turned the same way. Oh, look at that. There's another baby one. And they put a crypt in it. Did you see the one on the internet where they, uh, the kid was afraid of the dark? So, at the end of it, over here, they dug out and put a set of stairs that went down, and there was a window that viewed in. Really? And those stairs into the grave. Oh. And the mother visited him after his death because he was afraid of the dog. I'll, I'll try to find that short. That's sweet. <clears throat> mm. 
Wow. Wow. I am sure that those pink flowers right there is where I seen the little girl dump beside the stone somewhere. Yeah. She dipped behind the stone. I just don't know which stone it was. It was like a paint flowers and then a stone off to the side. Ain't did yet. Yep. It's just a stone. They just claimed a spot. So these were the pink flowers. See, now we're getting into some of the older stones too. That so dots and. It was a little girl, and this one over here is the one that she was behind. Robert F. Range, July 15th, 1879. His wife, Henrietta Range, not dead yet. gone but not forgotten. Yeah, she's not good. She's still alive. But there was a kid. Where'd the kid come from? Yeah. Is what I want to know. There's no footstone. Yes, some of these I don't have a Let me see. This one says, Can I see? No. Cannot read that at all. It's all gone. Nothing. Can't read it. <sighs> Pretty sure that was the right one. It's the pink flowers. Or was it one of those? Yeah, let me see. Because it was like, from the distance it was hard to see. But these are so old. Yeah, let's see. So, the little one. There we go. There's the flowers. Because we were standing over there. Pink flowers. The little stone. The kid. I cannot make that out, you guys. The little one was thinking behind that stone. So there's the kid. Okay. Now that I figured out where it was, because I remember now it wasn't behind this, because it would have been behind that. It was off to the side. I'll re look back. So V E V R E V four. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing that was a little kid. I guess it was a little kid that was over here, so. Oh wow. Well that tree took over, huh? Yeah, that tree kinda 
push the crap they, out of the way. Unless they wanted a tree. George W. Harris. Gosh. Maybe they wanted And his a tree. wife. So it's him and his wife? No. She ain't, she, her, her date ain't on there, is it? Nope. So she still ain't in there. Look at that. <laughs> so there was another over there. And I'm going to have to go see who's over there because I just saw him. Broke. It's a footstone. Yep. It's a little footstone. I don't know what's up with the rebel flag, but there was a guy over there. Oh. Wait. Where's what's that? This is my guess. This is a whole row of children. Well, that would explain. Maybe the little kid then came from over here that I seen. This thing kind of fences around that Taylor one over there. Uh huh. This thing kind of fences around that Taylor one over there. Uh-huh. Yep, that one was five years old. No. Poor babies. I'm so little. They say something on them, but I can't. This one was 18 hours. Oh. It is Taylor. That's why. This is part of that Taylor ones that are over yonder. Stay tuned for the second part of this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We got a ton of visual footage, a ton of EVPs on just this first section. There's actually a whole lot more to this, including an old hospital that was used during the war for um, people who were injured. So there is a lot more to see to this place and a whole entire area that where um, a lot of vets were buried. So I can't wait to show you guys that footage, but just from this, I am absolutely floored at how much that we got on there. Um, so we'll see what happens in the next. I'm extremely excited to go through the rest of the footage and see what I uh, have caught on there and um, see if we've got any more stuff because I know of a couple of more things where I did see souls walking so I'm interested if it caught anything 
or any orbs. Uh, make sure you hit like, subscribe, and comment down below and click the bell so that you're notified when the next few of these come out.